Okay, hi everyone, and uh, thank you for being a part of Sakshi's uh, special day. Dance and music have no barriers. It is something that everyone can feel, everyone can understand, and most importantly, <coughs> everyone can enjoy. Uh, Sakshi's passion for music, uh, we discovered at a very tender age of around eight, when she actually came to us and said that, you know, I want to learn how to play the drums. <laughs> and <laughs> I wonder where that came from. Uh, but we, we, being parents, we decided to uh, channel this passion uh, for a musical instrument and we got her the tabla. Uh, she practiced the tabla for around a year. Uh, she was like learning it, enjoying it and all. But then she came back to us and she said, this is not something which I can do in the long run. So her love for music and passion, uh, love for music and dance uh, comes from a couple of generations with my dad and I also having an intense love for music and dance. In fact, it's quite dominant in my uh, immediate family as well as second cousins. One of her platforms for her initiation was the family organized Janmashtami festival, which we have been celebrating for over 20 years. I remember at the age of eight, she sang her first song, uh, Choti Choti Gaya, with the help of a harmonium. And then, of course, there were the birthday parties where she would dance to Bollywood numbers with a lot of grace and fluidity. And that's when we saw her uh, developing a keen interest in dance and decided to give it a go. So we enrolled her into a semi-classical dance class. And uh, her first performance in front of an audience was at the age of nine followed by Madhuban Me Radhika on Janmashtami. I'm sure some of my family members would remember that. Um. So, uh, Sakshi basically uh, wanted to learn various dance forms and uh, because of her interest in, in dance. And uh, she, she tried uh, Mohini Attam, she tried Bharatnatyam, and she tried Kathak. After various classes, uh, of, of trial and error, she, she came back and she said that what she really enjoys is Kathak. Uh, so at the age of 10, we enrolled her in uh, Gopikishan School of Dance, uh, where she practiced for around two years. <clears throat> Unfortunately, she had to take a break because of the academic pressure at school. So uh, after finishing a school and after finishing a 10th grade, uh, actually her passion had really intensified and she really wanted to get deeper into Kathak. Uh, and that's where uh, we enrolled her at uh, the Pandit uh, Suresh Vadkar uh, School of Music and Dance, which is, which is Ajivasan, where she uh, enrolled herself in 2016. And uh, that's the place where she's graduating from. Even at home, like, you know, we, like, we watch her, even if she gets a minute to spare, you can, you can watch her practicing various Kathak forms. Kathak is the principal uh, dance of Northern India. It is widely practiced in Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, some parts of Western, in, uh, Western and Eastern India. So Kathak is found in three distinct forms called gharanas, which literally means homegrown or somewhere where the dance actually uh, originated from. Uh, it originated from the cities of Jaipur, uh, Lucknow, and Banaras. So while the Jaipur Gharana concentrates, focuses more on foot movements, um, the Lucknow and Banaras Gharana focus more on facial expressions and hand movements. And Sakshi will be showcasing all the three aspects today. But what would a dancer be without a teacher? Uh, the teacher has to bring some amount of uh, method to this madness, and it generally comes from trial and experience. Uh, given the pressure of academics in India, even even the dance curriculum is is it it has a fixed curriculum. There are there are dates when the exams are there, and it 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 brings in a lot of challenge for the teacher. The teacher needs to create a, like a process where the students strive for logical thinking objective goal uh, making and <clears throat> that's that's where the teacher plays a very important role because they need to create an environment where where the student 
is is not only thinking f- uh, for her her or himself but also self motivated and enjoys uh, to live up to the passion and that's where sakshi found to her liking a teacher and a mentor uh, where she could completely uh, enjoy her passion uh, in the young dr parinita shah yeah and parinita shah is an absolute inspiration guys and you'll know why so dr parinita shah holds a masters degree in performing arts in kathak from akhil bharatiya gandharva mahavidyalay a disciple of guru late shrimati asha joglekar she has been professionally performing since the young age of 11 and so far has performed all over the country for various cultural organizations and at many prestigious festivals such as the elephanta kala ghoda and the ncpa dance show She was a part of renowned Kathak maestro Pandit Birju Maharaj's troupe and performed in their ballet Romeo and Juliet. She has also learned from Bollywood choreographer Ruel Varandani in her growing years. She has been associated with Pandit Suresh Watkar's Music Academy Ajivasan for more than 7 years now, educating and training students in Kathak with currently 50 students under her tutelage. She has also undertaken training in contemporary hip hop, Latin ballroom, folk and has choreographed performances and taken multiple workshops for various schools and colleges. Having dabbled with acting as a hobby, she worked as a professional actor and model in numerous ad films and short films which won her awards and various film fest- festivals. She is also a practicing physiotherapist specializing in the field of neurology. with multiple facets and talents to her personality making it a perfect balance of traditional and contemporary dr parinita is a devoted teacher artist and therapist with a burning desire and goal to preserve our indian culture and to pass it on to the coming generations today is a proud moment for dr parinita and her parents mr and mrs shah as sakshi is her first student along with dr kimaya to graduate in kathak visharat Kindly welcome Dr. Parinita Shah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you again and everyone and uh, enjoy the show. Namaste. I am Sakshi's Guru Bagini Samruddhi. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Lala, for sharing Sakshi's journey with us. Her dedication, hard work, and passion towards the art is an inspiration to all us juniors. Without any further ado, let's move to the part of the event that you all have been eagerly waiting for: Sakshi's solo recital. But before I invite her on stage. Let us first welcome our amazing accompanying artists for the evening. Please welcome on the tabla we have Mr. Satya Prakash Mishra ji, an artist belonging to Banaras Gharana and the son and disciple of tabla maestro Pandit Kalinath Mishra ji. He is an artist par excellence with many national and international concerts to his credit. On vocals we have sadhna kakatkar ji <laughs> disciple of vidushi asha tai khadilkar ji for hindustani classical music and shrimati yogita chitare ji for semi classical and light music <laughs> on the harmonium we have mr siddhesh gurav ji he is a musician arranger and composer disciple of shri siddhesh bicholkar ji for harmonium and disciple of shri vinayak dabke ji for sound engineering and music arrangement he is currently working at saregama india limited on the sitar mrs alka guzar ji a very senior artist and an alumni of ajivasan she is a disciple of late guru pandit acharya jialal vasant ji 
An international artist, she has accompanied many great Kathak gurus, including Kathak Samrat, Padma Vidbhushan, late Pandit Birju Maharaj Ji. And on Padant, we have our beloved guru, Dr. Parinita Shah. And finally, here we welcome Sakshi Lala. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Good morning to my wonderful audience. Thank you for being a part of this show. As per tradition, I started with a vandana, which means a prayer. And today, I chose to do the Saraswati vandana, as Saraswati is the goddess of education. And it only seemed appropriate, since I will be completing chapter one of my Visharat today. Today, I will be presenting Tal Teen Tal. I will begin in Vilambit Le with a couple of thoughts and Ahmads, then move on to Dhritale with a couple of Parans and a Gatnikas, finally ending with Tatkar. I sincerely hope you enjoy today's event, and please forgive me if I make any errors. With the blessings of my Guru and my loved ones, I present to you Tal Teen Tal. <laughs>
be presenting another special parad which depicts the story of Lord Ganesha. Bhavpaksh part of today's event. I will be presenting a thumri, which is Mohe Chedata Mohana Giridhari Re. This is written and composed by Bindadan Maharaj, 
a stalwart of the Lucknow Gharana, who has contributed greatly to the field of Kathak. This Thumri presents Krishna in his stages of childhood. Um, since Kathak is said to have originated around the same time as Lord Krishna, a lot of the dances center around him and his life. However, before I begin the Thumri, I will be connecting it to a Kathnikas, which is a stylized way of presenting a beautiful pose using a chal or a chalan.
will now be ending my traditional presentation with tatkar of footwork, which is a very important aspect of Kathak. From the bottom of my heart, 
I would like to thank all the accompanying artists on the tabla, uh, Satya Prakash Mishra ji. On Padhan, my guru, Dr. Parinita Shah. On vocals, Sadhana Kakarkarji. <laughs> On harmonium, Siddhesh Gauravji. <laughs> and on sitar, Alka Gujarji. <laughs> I would also like to thank my Guru Bhagini, Samhridi Mehta.